Hey there, this is going to be a quick video showing my uh, Tyrannus setup for the NAS32 using an XAR, X8R receiver in PWM mode. So this is the model right there, uh, Blackout Quad. And I'm just going to go through the pages here. So, um, page one, the setup, pretty simple, name of the quad, um, model image, which it doesn't really matter. The important thing is down here. You want this to be for the uh, for your particular receiver. This is also where you bind it. Um, next page, nothing there. Uh, nothing there either. This is kind of important, although you can also configure this in the um, in which uh, order you connect your receiver to the NASE. I personally like just connecting my receiver to the NASE in linear fashion. So channel 1 on the NASE goes to channel 1 on the X8R, channel 2 on the NASE goes to channel 2 on the X8R, etc. So it's just linear like that. Anyways, here you have pretty standard AETR. So aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. I also have Manual. a uh, flight Manual. node Stabilize. on SC switch. And here you can see that I have that Manual. SE set to a Manual. flight mode. Manual. Stabilize. Uh, over there I've named it mode. And servos, nothing there. Curves, nothing there really. Nothing there. This is where I have something that reads out uh, the voltage. So when my voltage gets below uh, 3.7 volts, it reads out the voltage. And I also have RSSI reading out and altitude reading out. Um, logical switches. Over here, I have some different. Uh, sorry, uh, that's a soundtrack that I had. I totally forgot I had that there. Anyway, I have. Uh, flight mode reading out, I have um, RSSI reading out and altitude reading out, as well as, um, so I have cells and total cell readout, yeah, those are kind of confusing. There are some really great videos showing how to set those up online. Um, and telemetry, I'm using the uh, uh, telemetry module on my blackout racer here. Um, so you can see I've got this telemetry module, which is really nice. It sends all the telemetry to the X8R um, through the X8R's port, so it doesn't involve going through the NASE. I set that up through the NASE on all of my uh, on all of my PPM D4R receivers. Um, but basically, I'll just scroll down so that you can see the setup. A1 channel. And then that's pretty much it. And then down here I have which displays I want. So I have RSSI alarm in there. And then, yeah. Um, so I think that's about it.